Today we're going to review the Kodiak cold therapy unit by Bragg. But first, let's talk about how cold therapy works. So anybody out there who, have, who has tried one of these units, they've had a surgery, they've had an injury, and they've, they've been able to use a cold therapy unit uh, to help treat that injury, you know how effective they work to manage the, that pain uh, that you're experiencing. And the way it works is, is the, the cold therapy circulates ice water through a pad and it's intended to be used for a continuous amount of time. So unlike a gel pack or, or ice uh, packs that maybe last 20 minutes, continuous cold therapy units are, are designed to last for three, four, five hours at a time. And the way that works is so as the water circulates through that pad, the cold is able to penetrate deep into that joint space. It cools down the joint, it reduces the swelling, and reduces muscle spasms, therefore reducing the pain. So patients who use these, they often experience better sleep, pain reduction, possibly narcotic reduction, and they work fantastic. It is important to also note though with with these devices that because you can wear them for three, four hours at a time, that safety has to come into play. So there are certain things to consider. First and foremost, the, the pads, this is the side where you will experience or feel the cold as a patient. This cannot go directly on the skin and that is the most important component or safety uh, consideration for any any type of cold therapy unit on the market there has to be some sort of barrier whether it's your the bandaging that you have from the surgery or it's a shirt or a sock or whatever it is but some type of barrier between this pad and the skin second we also recommend that you do skin checks every one to two hours and what you're looking for is excessive blistering uh, discoloration, something that looks abnormal. If you experience that or see that, discontinue use of cold therapy immediately. And this is certainly advice that um, there are other risk factors that need to be considered such as circulatory issues and you should consult your physician to understand what the other risk factors or contraindications might be. Bragg has also done a very good job at trying to educate patients uh, about these risk factors. So not only are there instructions on how to use the product here on the cooler, but on the back there are uh, risk factors, contraindications listed. They're also listed in this packet that's attached to every Bragg cold therapy unit um, that, that is sent out. So we want to make sure that the patients are um, happy with the product but, they, but that they use it safely. All right, so we've talked about the safety features and kind of how cold therapy works. Let's talk about the components and what you're going to get when you order the Kodiak. So you're going to get a cooler, you're going to get a power supply, and you're going to get a, a pad. And this pad, as you can see, wraps on the different parts of the extremity with, with an ace that, that is supplied with that as well. So we call that a wrap-on pad. The Kodiak offers an accessory, a optional battery pack that you can purchase if you want to use this device on the go. Um, if you, and that's an optional accessory. So the way that this works is you take the, the pad, you take the couplings, and you line them up and you clip them in. The cooler, you're gonna see that there's, there's some instructions on here. You're gonna fill with ice and then you're gonna fill with water. And once you've done that, apply the lid and lock it into place. Now you're ready to go. All you have to do is plug in your power supply here in the front and once this is strapped on the anatomy, you're good to go. You can sit and watch TV, you can get that, that ice relief, and you're gonna get that compressive um, cold that's gonna help you recover uh, quicker from your injury. Some other th features about the product, um, the bigger the ice, the longer it's gonna last. So again, if you use bigger ice at home, it should last five, six hours. 
Sometimes in the hospital they use that small shaved ice. It's going to last a little bit less and the reason as it circulates through that joint, the joint heats up the water and naturally melts the ice. To conserve on some of that we've in, we, uh, ice, we've also installed this, this catcher here so as you go to change it out or, or add more ice we can, we can at least keep as much in the bucket as, as possible. Those are the features and the benefits of the, the Kodiak. There's one other feature though that separates this product from anything else that's out there. So most units uh, control the temperature uh, on their own and run about 45 degrees. So with the Kodiak, this actually has IntelliFlow technology. So each pad is designed to regulate temperatures that are safe for different parts of the body. And that's unique just to this Kodiak unit. And the way Breggs accomplished this is within the coupling of the pad, they have little tooling that either uh, restricts water flow or allows it to flow more freely. And why that's important is it, it will either allow the temperatures to run warmer or colder for different pads. So when your extremities, your hand and wrist, your foot and ankle, areas where circ circulation can be a problem, those pads are gonna run warmer than your knee and your shoulder pad would. So that, that's really what separates this, this unit from everything else that's out there on the market that I, as a physician, um, they, they, you can prescribe this and feel like that the different pads are gonna be a little bit safer for your patients. And as a patient, you know that you've got optional pads that will fit the different parts of the anatomy to help uh, provide that optimal treatment. And that is the conclusion of the review of the Bregg Kodiak Cold Therapy.